What's up, man? Not much. I'm just really amazed at how much of a beautiful city Chicago is. <laughs> I don't know if that comes out in movies because we don't get featured in movies enough. It's always New York or LA or some. I don't know. Chicago's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, what I said. <laughs> Speaking about what this city has to offer, we're taking you around Fulton Market, which is a former warehouse district turned foodie paradise and new ecosystem for companies like Google, The Mill, and Food Genius. All right, so we're on our way to find Manny from Manny Explores. He's probably exploring the area right now. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we can meet up with him and just kind of give him a little tour of the area. Guess who we found? Manny. I'm back again. Yay! <laughs> this time in Chicago. Very really happy to be here. That's right. The best of the best, so let's do it. All right, let's explore. Let's explore. Yeah. Join us. <laughs> Join us, yes. <laughs> Big name Chicago chefs like Stephanie Izzard have also opened restaurants here. We like to start out at the Fulton Sign and walk around till we find a spot that we're hungry for. Timeout Market alone has quite a few options to choose from, so that's where we started. So we're inside Time Out Market and we're here to eat at Colombia, which is a Polish-Colombian place. That's an interesting mixture for sure. Let's try it out. The market is not only nice and spacious, but you'll find a nice sampling of some popular eateries around the city. And a diversity of flavors too, for whatever mood you're in, from burgers to ramen and ice cream. You can sit indoors, or if the weather permits, you can enjoy the outdoor seating. So Manny, since you've done a lot of exploring in New York, how walkable would you say is the city of Chicago? It is pretty walkable. It's pretty walkable like New York, you know, pretty nice street, pretty organized. There are also a little bit of differences with some neighborhoods and stuff, but I think it's pretty much like in almost the same level as New York City. So if you were to give New York City a walkability score, what would you get what score would New York get? I'll give it a nine and a half. Nine and a half? Alright. And for Chicago? Eight. Eight? Eight? Alright. That's not bad, yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. I mean, I'm gonna have to agree with Manny because when we were walking in New York, a lot of times we were like, "Ooh, look at this! Ooh, look at that!" And then we don't notice. And then you don't notice it, and then your feet are gonna start to hurt. Like, oh snap! <laughs> how much did we walk? Chicago does have that, but there's like a lot of lulls, right? So yeah. we would be like, "Ah, oh, it's really cool," and then not the space of nothing, and then oh, it looks really cool. Exactly what you said, yeah. yeah. All right. So what areas have you liked so far? The ones that you were seeing. What areas I like so far? Um, I would say the touristy, like the Loop, uh, the Magnificent Mall, uh, Millennium Park, yeah, like that, and yeah, mostly the downtown area. Yeah. I enjoy it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's not that big, so you can see it in a couple days. Yeah, it was like a piece of cake for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you walked too much. I, walk, I literally walked the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> what do we well, get? We got the Sachi Papas, which is basically sausage and fries. Sanchi Papa. <laughs> and the and pierogi nabas, which is a which is kinda like pierogi empanadas. That's weird. Tu dices si aprueba no aprueba. It's good? Aprueba. Aprueba. Muy bien. Alright, I'm gonna go for the pierogi panada. Don't let the color fool you. It's not sweet potato. It's, it, I think it's potato and chorizo. That's why it has that color. Ooh. That's good. Hey, right, let's eat. Bonshi has been on our list to try for quite a bit, and we had to stop by for a quick slice that they cut with scissors and priced by weight. It's also a Roman style pizza and the variety of toppings is quite impressive. There was even a blueberry and sausage pie. Pizza Romana or everything. Roman style or something. Yeah, it has no sauce. Uh, yeah, no, what did you disapprove? See, money approved? I didn't disapprove, but you're I'm a like, sauce person. I'm a sauce person, yeah, this has no sauce. Oh. 
So this is like a bone, yeah, something, something. <laughs> bone, yeah, something, something. Meat and cheese. Oh, look at it. Very crunchy. It was. Crispy. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> With such an inviting night, you know we had to go for drinks in Mexican Trayudas at Cruz Blanca. You really can't go wrong with anything that you order here. So one thing I like about Cruz Blanca is that you can actually order half portions of beer. And I think this is actually the perfect size. That way if you don't like it. You don't gotta commit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drink it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to have the one Hey, what's the name of this? La Cubana is the name of this? Bon Appetit. Cubano or not Cubano? It's debatable. Debatable? Yeah. But it has ham. It has ham. But I don't think that makes it Cuban. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Like those crackers that you have, you know, like the crackers when you have the hamonia and stuff like that, but all yeah. together blended, that's what it tastes like. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, queso fundido. Yep. Get some chorizo on there. It's <laughs> like onions and stuff in that cheese. Really? It's good stuff. Yeah, so we're back in Fulton Market. We're gonna be celebrating Maria's birthday. It's Yay! birthday time! I'm excited. <laughs> and uh, there's this place called Gaijing. The train, way to take it. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna be going to Gaijing and having some Okonomiyaki. And I can't they, wait. They have two styles, right? Like Osaka style and Hiroshima style. Yes. Let's try it out. Mr. Sting jams out, let me cut a piece of this deliciousness and avoid a copyright strike. <laughs> Previous one was really good. 
all them delicious noodles. But this one apparently does not have noodles, so I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Good. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to decide. Is it hot? Not really. This is really creamy. Mm -hmm. It's not as sweet. I like that. It's pandan coconut donut. Mochi donut. It's interesting because it has like, it looks like a donut, tastes like a donut, and then the mochi hits you, it's like, what is this? <laughs> well, I know I have a favorite okonomiyaki. I really like the, uh, Osaka. The, <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't like the Osaka. No, I like the one with the noodles, which the I think is uh, Hiroshima style. Yeah, this is really good. I like yes. fried noodles. How could you? Delicious. How could you not like fried noodles? <laughs> right. And uh, the uh, the Okinawa style was okay. I liked no, it, but no Okinawa, Osaka. You're confusing all your cities, man. Oh, really? Yes, you are. <laughs> now, if you do plan on coming, uh, be aware it's a little bit pricey. A little bit, <laughs> but we are so cool. Like I, I was like telling him, we're gonna have to end up in McDonald's to get some nuggets after this. But no, <laughs> no. And you're gonna be stuffed for sure. And the uh, the mochi donut was uh, it was strange because it looks like a donut, it tastes like a donut, and that's something. All of a sudden that chewiness hits you. It's like, yeah. where'd this come from? But it was really yeah, good stuff. It was good. I Definitely it. Uh, recommend you going and trying it out. You never know. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for, for this, this video. video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.